Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Don, and I'm back. Well, you probably didn't even know I was gone, but, you know, for the last couple of weeks, guys, you probably haven't seen much content on my channel, and that's just because, well, I finally hit my breaking point with all this crazy crap going on in the world and losing my job and just... So I was kind of having a little pity party and, you know, whatever. But I'm back, and uh, I'm fine for those of you who are wondering or care. Uh, and, you know, i um, got some exciting stuff coming up for the channel. Um, I can't wait to share it with you guys. But uh, anyway, today we are going to do something that I haven't done in a while, and that's we're going to jump back into my Oculus Quest, man. I, I tell you what, that it's, it's a little over one year now that the Oculus Quest has been with us, and I can't tell you how much I love that little headset. I, it is like the, the powerhouse of my little collection here. It, it is so versatile now with everything that Oculus has added to it. So um, I couldn't think of any better way to bring my quest back off the shelf than to check out the upcoming The Line from Arvor Studios. Now you guys know Arvor, they, they brought us Pixel Rip, they, they've done Yuki, I mean, for the arcades, lots of cool stuff. So I can't wait to see this one and I can't wait to take you guys with me. Now, I'm not gonna do the whole experience though. I, I don't wanna spoil this for those of you who want to see this in your quest. So, all right, let's get in there and let's check out the line. All right, so here we are. I, you know, like I said, I haven't been in my Oculus Quest in a while, I, at least a couple of months. And, you know, I think the last time I was in there was when they introduced the hand tracking. And I got to say, it's gotten much better, uh, much better. So, all right, um, let's uh, go ahead and get in and check out the line. Okay, so let's see here. We want English. And now we'll go with no subtitles. And, and okay, so uh, it, the game does offer both room scale and seated. Now, I did set this up last night. I got all in front of my green screen and everything. And, well, the room scale, as you can see, it, it does actually recommend a two and a half by two meter play area. And unfortunately, my room scale will not work for my my green screen area so that's why you guys are seeing me sitting on my desk so all right we're, we're just going to go ahead and play it seated but let me tell you a room scale much better experience so all right okay and uh, now i think we are finally where we can start the game here so we got options which i'm not going to mess with that or we can just pull the cord not so long ago we kept memories in photo albums remember why don't you uh, yeah. try to turn the pages? Um, okay. Let's see what it hides inside. Man, I gotta say, this is, like, really cool. I This is one of the first games on the Quest to actually use the, the, the uh, Oculus hand tracking that's built in. And so far, it's really good. Some records can show who we are. The ones we love. How we live. But some memories can't fit in a photo. Nice. Oh, hey now. In a world of miniatures, cool routine is everything. I love miniature stuff in VR. It's like, it is so, so cool to be able to just like lean up into the scenes and check out all the little details, so. Every cycle is exactly the same. The tram schedule never changes, the blue car always crosses the rails in the same direction, and so it goes. Traffic guard Washington always stops the tram right before the green car arrives. Wanna bet? In three, two, one. <laughs> See? And all ben, the little details are amazing. Oddly enough, she waters her garden once every cycle, even though not a single drop of water comes out of the hose. She doesn't even notice. 
Well, it may be too repetitive for some, but not for Pedro, the paperboy. He quite enjoys a life without surprises. Even the newspapers he delivers bring the same news every time. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I'm like totally geeking out on this. I'm digging Proud it. Out of his articulated legs, Pedro is the only doll who can ride across the entire model. Fire! But he always rides on the same track, the one and lonely track. Every cycle, he picks up the same lucky message from the crank organ player on the street. I like how it's giving me a slight bit of interactivity, and I especially like that I'm doing it with my own hands. This is Happy neat. are those who are on the right track. As someone who has lived his whole life on the same track, he agrees. But sometimes, to stay on the same track, Pedro has to wait for the tram to pass. At one point, Pedro allowed himself a small transgression. He took a yellow flower from a tree. But even a little break like that, if repeated thousands of times, will eventually become routine. No, God, that's kind of scared me since my face was right next to it. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Time it. Aha, there we are. Pedro would not change a single thing. Well, maybe just a tiny little thing. He would work up the courage to declare his love for Jose. Oh, you go, Pedro. himself that he would speak to Hosa. He told himself that if the church bell rings before the tram leaves, he would speak to her. That if the dog yeah, barks two times, <clears throat> I mean three times, if the dog barks three times, he would speak to her. Yeah, he Pedro. Come on now. was always around the corner, so he could delay it until then. Meanwhile, Pedro convinces himself that simply plucking that yellow flower would do. Only someone like Pedro would think that a flower is a creative gift for a florist. But as it turned out, the yellow flower meant the world to Hosa. Proud of her articulated arms, Hosa is the only doll who can grow flowers. Although yellow is her favorite color, thorny red flowers are her real work. But someone out there seems to know that Rosa would like her life to be different. Who Maybe would? the next cycle, the yellow flower would bring her the one she has been waiting for. There you go. Pedro, you gotta get on it, buddy. Another cycle begins, and once again, everything is the same. The tram still arrives at the same time. The blue car crosses the rails again. Traffic guard Washington never fails to stop the tram right before the green car arrives. And then he greets Mrs. Cumbers. Courtesy above all. What's going on? And it is another day for Pedro. Like always, he delivers one newspaper. And another. He's sure both of them bring good news. The same news. message is still the same. Happy are those who are on the right track. Pedro agrees. Again. And again, he gives way to the tram. Everything is just the same, just like it has always been. Uh-oh. No, it's not. It's not. There's no flower. Well, uh -oh. on this day, Pedro learned something new. After so many cycles plucking yellow flowers, they finally run out. That's not good. Confused, he follows the same old path. And for the very first time, he does not leave a yellow flower for Hosa. 
Okay, and I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here because you know I don't want to give any of this away. So, all right. All right, so, you know, I had to stop it, guys. I, I really don't want to give this away. It's, it's a beautiful story, and I highly suggest that you uh, experience this for yourself. You know, something about miniatures in VR, it is just magical. So if you want to check out the line, I am going to throw a link for it down in the description. And I can't thank Arvor enough for giving me an early look. But for me, that's going to do it tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video and if this was your first time coming by the channel thanks for coming by to check out what i do here at vr gamer dude and if you want to see more like this smash the subscribe ring the bell you know the drill i you know i'm not gonna lie i'd really love to get to 10,000 subscribers this year so help me out with that why don't you and if you've already helped me out with that i love you guys you know you are the best and you're the reason that i do this but I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.